Also among those who spent the week in historic Malmo, Simon Dyson, a six-time European tour winner who's earned almost 10 million euro, but who lost his appetite for life as a touring pro before recently rediscovering his mojo. I kind of got in a little bit of a rut and with having, the, with having my family at home, you know, we've got a little girl, she's two, and I just love spending time at home all of a sudden and uh, just lost a little bit of love for the game. And um, But, you know, managed, I've managed to get that back. I'm, I suppose I'm quite lucky to, in a way, to have, to have got that back because, you know, a lot of people who fall out of love of the game, that's it, they can't kind of call it a day, but I've seemed to have got it back, so, and, uh, and I'm enjoying my golf again. Yes, the buzz is back and the results are starting to flow again. Boosted by a sizeable check for a top five finish at the BMW PGA Championship, Simon's up to 27th in the race to Dubai. I've had four top tens already this year. I mean, I've played quite a few tournaments, but that's just because I, I wanted to play. Normally, I wouldn't have played, you know, half of what I've played already, but I just want to get back playing and... Um, and trying to, trying to move back up them world rankings. I've, like I said, I've had four top tens, and a couple of those have been in good tournaments, like um, BMW finished fifth, so that's a good, good step in the right direction. Simon now feels he's back to the form of three years ago, when he won twice and subsequently came close to qualifying for the European Ryder Cup team at Medina. There's certain parts of my game that have improved a heck of a lot more than they were then, which is like my short game and my putting has improved massively. Um, whereas there's parts of my game, my iron play back then was as good as anybody's uh, and, it, and it isn't at the minute, which is why I'm not really shooting the consistent four or five under pars that I was back then. Golf's a funny game, you know, you can, you can be in the wilderness for two months and then you can have an unbelievable month and you're right back in it. So we'll, uh, we'll just keep working hard and see what happens. Four more good rounds over a tough course in Malmo secured another decent finish for Dyson as the Yorkshireman looks to re-establish himself as a consistent contender and winner on the European Tour. I'd love to get back in the top 100 by the end of the year and if I finish top 30 in the order of merit you know I'd class that as a as a good year for me considering you know I've had a couple of quiet years so it's 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 all about building back up and you know um, moving in the right direction so that's that I'd, I'd class that as a good year and a great year would obviously be top 15 and around about the top 70, top 80 in the world. Realistic goals and certainly not time to be waving goodbye to life on tour just yet.